Hey guys, my name is Abhigat and in this video, I'll be writing a Java program to print a menu like this one um, using switch statements. So basically in this menu, there'll be five options. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and a method to calculate the remainder. And basically in this program, the first thing I'll do is display this menu. And after this, I will tell the user to input one of the five options uh, from the menu. And after doing so, I will tell the user to input two number values, so number one and number two. And based on those two number values, I will perform the respective calculation that the user had entered at the start uh, from the menu. Uh, so without further ado, let's start with the program. Okay, so over here, I've written the basic structure of every Java program. I've started with import java.util.scanner. Then I've written class in public static void main, followed by scanner s equals to new scanner, which is the line needed to gather input from the user. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is initialize my variable. So int and the first variable I'll create is called mn, which is short for menu number, because in the menu, there'll be five options. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and remainder. So menu number is going to be used to store that value. The second variable I'll be creating is called n1, short for number one, which is again a variable I'll need to store the user inputted value. And lastly, I'll create a variable called n2, which will again store another value. Now I'll create my menu. So to do that, first I'll write system dot out dot print ln and over here i'll say menu okay this is going to be the first line i'll just copy this and instead of menu i'll say one and over here it'll be addition because this is going to be the first option i'll just copy this and now i'll repeat the same process up till remainder okay so now as you can see our menu has been created the first thing I'll do is write a print statement to input a value from the menu and then I'll store that value in this mn variable to determine what operation the user would like to continue. So I'll just write system.out.println and over here I'll say enter your choice and within the brackets I'll say 1 to 5 because those are the 5 options that we have. Now I'll store this value in the mn variable so mn is equal to sc.next int now i'll just copy this and i'll paste it two more times uh, over here i'll say enter a number and in this case it'll be n1 because that's going to be the first number and over here i'll say enter another number and that's going to be n2 okay so now that the user has selected what operation they would like to continue and the two values of the numbers we can begin writing our switch statements so to start off i'll just write the switch keyword so switch and here I'll write the name of the expression, which in this case is MN. I'll write the curly braces. And within this, I can start writing the cases. So case, and the first case is addition. So if the user inputs one, then I'll write colon system.out.println. Within this, I'll say answer is plus N1 plus N2. Okay, so basically over here, what I've done is I've concatenated two values. So over here, this is a string and this is a combination of two integers now after doing this i'll write break and i'll repeat the process for all the other operations so case two here is going to be subtraction so n1 minus n2 then case three this is multiplication so n1 multiplied by n2 then case four which is division n1 divided by n2 and then we have case five which is calculating the remainder which is n1 mod n2 okay so these are all arithmetic operators and if you don't know how each of these work you can check out my video on arithmetic operators that will be linked down in the description and now that our cases have been written i can write my default statement which is similar to an else statement so default colon here i'll just write error so over here our program is complete let's just compile this and let's check the output void main here it displays the menu so number one is addition up till number five which is remainder now it tells me to enter my choice from one to five let's start simple let's do one which is addition and here it tells me to enter a number let's say five enter another number this time let's do seven okay here it shows me that answer is 12 because 5 plus 7 does give me 12. Okay, this time let me check out how its multiplication works. So enter your choice. This time I'll put 3. The first number I'll enter is 2 and the second number I'll enter is 3. Here it shows me that the answer is 6 because 2 multiplied by 3 gives you 6. 
Okay, so this is basically how uh, this program works. This time I'll just input a number that's not present within this uh, menu. So for example, let me put six, then enter a number, let's say three and three again. Here, it shows me that it's an error. So guys, yeah, that is all for this video. If you want the code, it will be available on my website, avigatgupta.com. So make sure you check it out. Other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try my best to answer them as soon as possible. And if you learned something new, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel. See you later. Bye.